What is going on guys and girls? My name is James and welcome back today to Roblox. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today of course it is time to jump back into Bee Swarm Simulator and today we are doing all things special bee quips. So in this episode we are going to be purchasing the reindeer puppy pack and trying it out here in the main game. As well as that we are going to be hunting for a very special bee quip in a very sneaky location. And as well as that, if that's not enough, we're going to be giving away some Robux today. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, yeah. should, we, should, we, should we do the thing? <laughs> should we do it? Well, in theory, we could do it, but I've been playing already. So, three, two, one. The hive is already claimed. How are we doing, everybody? Welcome back. Hopefully you guys and girls are doing awesome today, playing some sweet, sweet bee swarm. And yeah, what I want to do today is essentially just do a few bits and pieces that I've been meaning to for a couple of days. So... We've seen all this cool and crazy bee quip stuff in the test realm and now in the main game. And I think finally it might be a chance for us to actually look at this reindeer puppy bee and then also look at some of the other bee quips because <laughs> I've got a few of them already in my inventory which have some pretty cool special abilities. But this is the one that I really want to look at and see if it's any different from the test realm. But as I mentioned, there is like a very sneaky bee quip just hiding somewhere on the map. Well, not technically on the map. It's actually a reward. Board. And uh, yeah, there's only one way to get it. <laughs> oh, it's that time again. Dudes, dudes. <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> we, we need to talk about last episode's likes. What on earth? My goodness me. So, I, last episode, I'm literally just looking at it right this second. Um, 8,000 likes? What? Yes. Oh man, that's so cool. Wow, so 8,000 is like the highest we've had for so long. So, so long. Um, And I, I just think you guys just went absolutely crazy. You guys are OP. <laughs> 8,000 likes on yesterday's episode? Wow, it's not even been up 24 hours yet. Well, it has technically, but dudes, um, thank you so very much. It's really amazing to see that. Really, it is. So I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so, so very much. That's insane. And I have no idea what to set for this episode. Um... I don't know, can we go for 5,000? We normally go for like 4,000. Can we try and go for 5,000 in this one? 8,000? Dudes. Yeah, this is absolutely mad. I saw that like earlier today and it was already on like 7,000. I was like, wait, what on earth? <laughs> That's so cool. That's amazing. Amazing. All right. Okay. So absolute madness that you guys pulled yesterday aside. Uh, yeah, I think it's finally time to buy this reindeer puppy pack. So, oh, so this is kind of the reason why I wanted to do like a little Robux giveaway here today. So let's go and buy this here for 800 Robux. Boom. You are welcome, Mr. Onnit. And this is a permanent bee quip. So there is a difference in the game between the bee quips that you find in and around the map. So maybe, you know, from the stockings as a reward and the permanent bee quips, which you can get via other means. So a permanent bee quip is a bee quip that right now, anyway, you can only have a limit of one and it's going to be a special one. So on it has mentioned here that obviously we have the puppy bee, which has these reindeer antlers, which essentially transform the puppy bee and give it a much better fetch ability. I've just realized something. I've just realized something. I don't have a puppy bee in my hive anymore. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to have to get my puppy bee back. Um, I got rid of it ages ago and the reason why is because the fetch ability at a high level really isn't all that it. But now that we've got these bee quip antlers, we might as well get it back. Oh, I didn't realize. Oh, what are we going to get rid of? Also, I think Onnit mentioned that he's also going to be doing a unique bee quip for the festive bee at some point. So we might actually be seeing that bee quip for maybe one of the rewards for the second part of the winter update, which will be coming in January. Um, so that's going to be technically two bees, the festive bee and the puppy bee, that are going to have their exclusive bee quips with special abilities. That's cool. So yeah, I was looking at this reindeer puppy pack and it's like 800 Robux and I thought, you know what we'll do? Let's give away some Robux. Um, so yeah, what we are going to do is we are going to give away 10,000 Robux and we're going to be giving away 10 1,000 codes. So the idea behind this is that basically, you know, if you don't have the reindeer puppy pack yet and you want it, then you can enter the giveaway. Hopefully you'll win it and you can get yourself a reindeer puppy pack, but you don't have to spend it on that, obviously. And yeah, the way we're going to do it, the easiest and the fairest 
nearest way that we can do these Robux giveaways is through the Team Thanksia Discord. So I've used it previously for giveaways and it's amazing because it has like a giveaway bot and it just posts like a message and you react to it, you are instantly entered and then it will auto draw for us in just like the most fair and random way possible. So I will link the Team Thanksia Discord in the description below. Um, if you're not already joined into it, please feel free to come and join. It's a really cool place, you know? Got some really, really nice people. It's nice and safe and friendly. And uh, yeah, I, I do tend to like do Robux giveaways on there anyway. So don't worry if you don't win this one. Uh, there will be future opportunities for you guys to win some Robux. Uh, yeah, but as well as that, it's really nice. You can meet people, you can hang out, you can play Bee Swarm together, talk about the game. You can talk about other stuff. We've got different games, different groups. Uh, all, tops, all sorts of topics and that. Um, what I will also do is I will purchase you guys a couple of uh, Beast One private servers and I'll leave the links in the Discord section for private servers so you guys can like play together if you want to. So remind me to do that, James, from the past when I'm editing this, from the future, buy the private servers for the people. <laughs> <laughs> There's a section on the Discord, it says like private servers. So yeah, you'll be able to join a private server and play with people if you want to. So what we'll do as well is we want to try and do it as fairly as possible. We won't just do just like one giveaway where 10 people win a thousand straight away. We'll stagger it over like the next day or two. So everybody has a chance to see this video and everybody has a chance to enter maybe a couple of times. So we might do like two giveaways of like 5,000. So five lots of one. And then the next day there'll be like another five lots of one. I'm not too sure just yet, but essentially we want everyone to be able to have a chance to enter uh, different time zones and you know people might be busy tomorrow whatever so we'll try and do it as fair as we possibly can uh, so yeah good luck to that hopefully you guys win at the 1000 robux if you don't do not worry i do other stuff on the discord as well like giveaway robux and stuff so you'll always have future chances but ultimately i hope you enjoy hanging out there it's a really cool place and i think you'll like it make some new friends play some games yeah sounds good right now the big question is <laughs> what are we going to replace <laughs> because i I had a gifted puppy bee and now I ain't got a gifted puppy bee anymore. Um, hmm. So yeah, one thing that I was thinking actually is I'm going to wait until the second update comes because Oni did say he was going to be doing some rebalancing. And then I think I've got five carpenter bees. Jeez, okay. I think we're going to change the hive. I really think we are going to change the hive up. Finally, to move to one type of color. Now, I don't know. I think red is pretty good right now, but I think we're going to go either red, blue, or white. We're not going to go down the middle anymore. And the reason why is because this type of hive these days is not exactly like super competitive, I guess, for making honey. Now, by that, I don't mean that I want to be on the leaderboards or anything. That's not the point. But I want to kind of have a hive that will make enough honey to start really leveling these guys up. And I guess, you know, every single time the game updates and stuff, the way that the game meta changes. And I kind of just want to see what happens if we change it up. So it's going to break my heart. Don't get me wrong. I love this hive so much. <laughs> but I think it would be fun to kind of give it a go, right? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> in before I just ruin my hive in like two or three weeks time. All right, I'll tell you what we'll do. I guess we'll get rid of a carpenter bee. I mean, yeah, let's get the puppy bee jelly here. Let's go and stick you in the middle. Transform carpenter bee for a puppy bee, but it's no longer gifted. Oh, now technically I could use my gingerbread um, bears to try and get this gifted. Uh, but what we'll do is we'll buy a star treat for a thousand tickets. It's so expensive. <laughs> let's just get this guy gifted because we can't just have one ungifted bee. That's just going to drive me nuts. So let's go stick this guy in here. Gifted puppy bee. Fantastic. And then we need to go and put our antlers inside our bee quip case. Oh yeah, so check this out. This finally now works. I had like this glitch on the video I think yesterday when we got some of these slightly different bee quips where I couldn't actually open them to look. But check this out. Each one of these actually has an ability. So it's not like a super special ability or anything, but this is the toy horn. And this can be equipped to only five bees, including lion, cobalt, and crimson, but it has an ability for melody. So this is just like the melody tokens that you normally get, but you can now actually have your cobalt or your crimson bee, or you know, your rage bee or whatever, summoning melody which I thought was kind of cool. And uh, the other one here, the Paper Angel, uh, this is once again just four bees, so Photon Bee in there as well. Um, we've got Shy Bee. This gives us a token link, so an extra bee that has an extra ability token, basically, just to link all the stuff together. And then the Toy Drum has Haste. 
which is just another way to get some extra haste. And the cool thing about this is my potential is full on this one. So technically, this one's pretty good, right? I'll play around with this properly at some point. Like, I do want to look into all of that stuff. But right now, we've got barely any slots. And the reason why is this <laughs> bee bear thing <laughs> is taking ages for me. <laughs> so we'll sort that out. Don't worry about that. But anyway, here we go. Let's go and roll over here. Let's go and quit bee crypt case. And now let's go and stick on our reindeer antlers on our puppy bee. Ta-da! We got it. There we go. So level 15 gifted puppy bee. And of course, if you didn't see this in the test realm, the special ability is one called Reindeer Fetch. So this enhances Puppy Bee's fetchability, and Puppy's ball will glow bright red, and every third time Puppy hits it, you'll receive a Reindeer Guidance, which grants a 1.01 capacity for 15 minutes and stacks up to 10 times. Additionally, the ball will have a small chance to spawn gingerbread bears at higher combos. Maximum one per day. Oh, that's a bit tight, isn't it? <laughs> On it. <laughs> Where should we go and play fetch? Because I always lose the ball. <laughs> I'm not very good at fetch. Uh, I tell you what, let's go in the sunflower. Maybe? I don't know. So yeah, now our puppy bee looks different. He looks like a little reindeer costume. Where is he? I've already lost the, the, the bee. Where's my bee? Hey, puppy. Yeah, I should at least show you guys what it looks like, right? <laughs> So you may have seen this in the test realm video. Oh, there he is. Look. <laughs> so I've got the gifted one, obviously. So it's like a little bit gray. But where's he hiding? He was in there somewhere. But he basically looks like a little cute reindeer costume. It's actually really cool. And I'm super excited to see what Onnit's going to do when he releases the festive bee version of whatever he's thinking. Um, I've already lost it. I can't see anything with this many peas, man. Okay, so let's actually go and see if we can get this gingerbread bear. Now, the thing is... Oh, by the way, thank you so much. Like, I get a bunch of tweets every single day about what people are finding in Bee Swarm and stuff. So that's always really, really awesome to see. Uh, and I can now confirm, based off people's tweets, that you can also get gingerbread bears from aphids. I completely forgot about aphids. I've not seen an aphid for a while. So yeah, aphids drop gingerbread bears. And you can also get them from ladybugs. So I saw someone tweeted me and they actually got it from a ladybug. A basic low-level ladybug has a chance to drop gingerbread bears, which is really, really good news. And it means that getting those bug runs is still going to be really, really valuable to actually get some of this stuff. So yeah, you can add now aphids and ladybugs to the list. I've yet to see one from the scorpion. I'm yet to see one from the rhino beetle. But if you guys have seen any of those from those mobs, then yeah, let me know. Ah, there it is. Okay, boom. Right, so the, the ball grows red, glows red. And now we're just going to play some serious fetch. Okay. Okay, so that's a treat. Okay. I'm going to keep playing. I'm going to see how high I can go. Give me that gingerbread bear. Come on. No, it's rolled out of the field. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Come on. Come on. Come on. See, I always try and play in, like, a field where there's a wall. <laughs> because the ball has a horrible habit of just, like, completely rolling out, doesn't it? Okay, this is going well so far. Dude, I've played so much fetch. Are you kidding? Oh, I've missed it! Have I missed it? No! Ah, oh, okay, but yeah, check this out. We got a times four reindeer guidance, which has now boosted up our capacity. And that's going to last for 15 minutes. Oh, snowstorm. There it is! Yes, we got it! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> One gingerbread bear from Reindeer Fetch. Dude, the ball starts to get really quick at the end. So yeah, there we go. We can confirm that it works. And we can get gingerbread bears from our Reindeer Fetch. Whew, that was intense. But hey, look at this. Just playing with um the, 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 the ball there. We now actually have a 10 times Reindeer Guidance capacity boost, which has boosted up our uh, capacity uh, times 1.1. So I think 10 is the maximum, isn't it? That wasn't too bad. That was just like two games of fetch. And now we have a 15 minute boost. Pretty good. Anyway, right. This sneaker, this this <laughs> sneaky secret bee quip <laughs> is located, believe it or not, as a reward from the ant challenge. I, I know, right? I had I didn't know this, to be honest. I had like a bunch of people telling me this over like past day or so. Uh, and I haven't got one just yet. So apparently I was wondering as well. Do you remember like one of the, the, the boxes that we opened yesterday? gave us ant passes and i was like why on earth do we want ant passes as a reward it's because <laughs> there is a secret bee quip hidden 
inside a reward for the ant challenge. So, guess what we're going to do? Ant challenge. Um, yeah, doesn't really matter what score we get, I don't think, but I'm going to try and get a decent one. Uh, I'm going to try and get, like, at least, like, over 200, 200, 300, whatever. And we're going to see if we can get this beak win. So, yeah, I hate doing the ant challenge, <laughs> but we'll give it a go. Side note as well, the star saw absolutely shreds in the ant challenge. <laughs> just anything that comes near it. <laughs> It just completely destroys. <laughs> yeah, the Star Souls are... Star Souls not that useful right now, admittedly, but it is useful. It's not useful for, like, you know, getting loads and loads of honey, but for taking down mobs, for stick bugs, for ant challenges, for mondo chicks, I really like it. I actually really rate the Star Soul. Not probably the most efficient thing in the world, but it is really good. Okie dokie, so we're coming pretty close here to our first go. Oh, we died, and ah, we didn't get it! No! Okay, right, so that's one. We got 299 that time. Let's keep the old one. So that is one ant challenge down and no bee quip. So <laughs> I've got to do them again. So yeah, I'm going to try like, I don't know. I I'm not going to try and go for like a super high score. I'm going to try and just get a supreme each time. And I don't know, maybe we'll like die a bit earlier just to see what kind of level we get one. If we get one at all, we will get one. But I've got nine more goes, I guess, and I could technically buy some more tickets. So I'm just going to keep doing these. <laughs> I really hate doing the ant challenge. See, the reason, what's my top score? 388. Yeah, I think like, the reason why I don't like the ant challenge is not because it's bad, but because I've done it so many times. I think especially to like grind jelly beans, that's the only reason why I do it these days, really. Um, so it's kind of cool to have another reason to do it here. But yeah, it does drive me a little bit crazy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> take two. Let's see what we do this time. Oh, we got one. Yeah, there we go, boom. Okay, so that's weird, right? Okay, there we go. Look at it. Look at it. There it is. There it is. So you guys, do you remember, do you remember this image from when we did all of the, the leaked images? Now, the weird thing is, that was the fourth time that I did the ant challenge. I did three in a row where I got over 300 score, and I just got, like, a bunch of fruits. And that time, I got a 200 and just died. Like, ran into a bunch of, of, of ants and stuff, and I actually got it. <laughs> Which is really strange. Um, So... Like, there's, there's theories and conspiracies about the ant challenge where, like, people have done lots of data and they found, like, certain things they drop more at certain scores and stuff. Um, I don't know if those have been changed at any point, but it's kind of a historical thing. Um, but yeah, all I can confirm for this episode is that a score of 200 got us this reward. So we don't want the actual amulet. Let's get rid of that. But we did actually get ourselves here the poinsettia which is one of the slightly more sneakily hidden bee quips. Now, the thing is, have you guys got this? And if you have, did you get this any other way than the ant challenge? So if you did, please um, send me a comment, you know, comment section or whatever, um, because I'm wondering if you can get this from other ways. Like, can you get this from you know, any of the other bosses or the challenges or anything? Or is this purely an ant challenge item? So what does it do? <laughs> it gives you a hive bonus of 1% plus pollen from bees. So like a global pollen boost. And it gives you extra red gather amount. And it gives you extra gather pollination chance. Um, so that, I guess, would work with um, the pollination effect on the uh, fuzzy bees, which is kind of interesting. This is a 3 out of 6 potential. And the requirement for this is that the bee must know the boost ability. Huh. Interesting. Okay. That's kind of strange. See, I'm kind of wondering, like, is this purely a, um, an ant challenge one? Or can we get this from other bosses? I don't know. Let's actually try. Like, let's just try really quickly here. Let me take down King Beetle. Uh, did we get any poinsettias? I've had other ones from the, from the King Beetle. Yeah, I got peppermint antennas that time. What about old Tunnel Bear? If he's at home, that is. Yeah, he is. Fantastic. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sneaky, that one. Just hiding that in the ant challenge. So, to be honest with you, I don't know if, like, a score of 200, you'd need that necessarily or not. I'm kind of hoping that it's a little bit lower, but maybe it's only linked to the Supreme. Uh, did we get anything there? We got a gingerbread bear. Awesome. And we didn't get anything bee quippy. But there we go. So, yeah, if you want to go and grab yourself a poinsettia, which seems like a pretty good one, actually. It needs to be level 6. Uh, then yeah, that's how you get it. So if you if you do get one at a different B level as well, maybe you get 100 or a score of 50 or whatever, uh, yeah, let, let us all know in the comments. That would be super interesting. But at least we got one. Awesome. 
<laughs> well, there we go. So unfortunately, that is probably going to be about it for this episode here today. But we still got a bunch more stuff to do. I think next time around, we're going to go and buy like all of these super expensive packs just all in one go. I think we need to start buying some stuff in the, the catalog as well. And I'm going to keep going here with the Bee Bear catalog to actually extend my Bee Crypt case and uh, yeah, put a lot more decorations on the tree because currently <laughs> I've only got three. I need to get I need to get decorating, man. All right, okay. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, yeah, make sure that if you want to join the Discord uh, for giveaways and and be sworn talk with people and stuff. Then the link is in the description below. Uh, yeah, good luck to anyone who enters, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So until then, thanks and see ya.